One, two, three, four.
All right. <clears throat> Let's get into this. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone slept okay. A good night or day, depending on your side of the planet. Oi, oi, how's it going, bud? What's up? Yeah, I, I just sat down and started talking. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Am I even crap? Why did I, why did I craft this? Face. Yep, you had my channel open already. Such a generous guy. Such a what a guy. What a fucking guy. Four minutes. We'll let that run out first. You were playing in a team this morning? Oh yeah, how'd that go? How was that? Was it fun? Was it everything you dreamed of? Oh my god, four mans are no good. Yeah. Unless you play in a four man like regularly, it's not, you're not gonna have a good time probably. You were all doing tasks? Mm. Did you complete any task in your four man? Did you, did you complete anything? Yeah, you got two tasks done, and some of them got tasks done too. Why? Why is it bad then? Why? Why was it bad? How many people got TK? One raid, three of you got TK. Yeah. All right. Someone dropped a nade. Did not see where, and it went boom. Damn. Damn. That's funny. One of your friends. You sure it wasn't one of your friends that dropped the nade?
you don't mind two man teams, but four was just mad, too much sound going on. Yeah, like if if you're in a four man and you're not all playing the same sort of play style, the the sounds are gonna be weird. Uh, it's one thing if all of you are slow walking and you know being tactical, but there's always one that's gonna do other things. They're gonna jump without telling other people. They're gonna run without telling other people. I just blasted him, bro. Alrighty. What a piece of shit. He did it first. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Well, that was the first raid of the day. Isn't that how we want to start every day? We save somebody's life and then they blow our fucking head off. We spare someone's life and then they blow our fucking head off. Yeah. Great way to start the day, bud. Great way to start the day. Should have just killed him. Would have been better off. I'm going to start killing every scout I see. Fuck it. Fuck it. I killed like four scabs yesterday, right? I'm almost max rep again. It is what it is. I'm over it. No one else gives a fuck if they kill another player scab. Why should we? Why should we? What fucking keys do I have? Not this dump. Did it deliver insurance claim today? I did not know you could do one. Hell yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, we're gonna go to woods. As they do a payment for 35 euros for every day off work due to sickness or accident. Damn. You've been off work for a while, bud. Is there a maximum on that? There's got to be a maximum. Like a cap.
For the small print, it has a max of six months if you have not claimed in the last year. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's good money. I mean, it's not good money, but I mean, that's decent. It's decent as fuck, bro. Considering it's a... Um, since you're an indep independent contractor for that company, that's like a really good policy. Just under 3k for the last three months, yeah. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna break the bank or you know pay all of your bills off if if for somebody that was out of work that long not working. But you know, it would definitely hurt less. Yeah, it's 1K for, 1K a month will help a fair bit out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sure it will. Um, my graphics card updated last night. <clears throat> it always says it's for like a specific game whenever you have an update. Like it's got to be more than just the one game that they advertise. I feel like running woods might be the move for today.
Now he'll tell his living friend what ammo I had. It's gonna be great. Now he has the advantage. Well, that's bullshit. I hate that shit. When it's just fine for what you want to do, like the weather is great, and then it suddenly just changes. Like a minute and a half later, you don't even get a chance to experience the weather half of the time. Like, oh, this is a clear day for sniping. And then, you know, five minutes later, it's fucking pissing rain and it's dark. It's a little absurd how fast, like, the... the So, like, if you check the weather before you go into raid, it's basically fucking useless by the time you get into raid. Because the weather's already changed. Um. That's too fast.
Oops. So Sturman's still up, which is cool. I've got one PMC down, at least one PMC down. I don't know if I got the other one or if he actually got away because I did kill something over that way. Um, but that Sturman sounds like murdering everyone, which I like, I like that. I I appreciate when Sturman murders because then it gives us a chance to murder Sturman and everyone likes a chance to murder Sturman. Want that all. nearly 30k there did I check that? I don't remember I don't really care either at this point we need another Slewa I will tell you this but no one needs that many backup DBL mags no one you should. What are you gonna do? Dump five of them out into somebody? No. No. <laughs> Did I check this? Okay. Just making sure. I double check a lot of things just because I forgot. What a shitty fucking right there. fine we're fine with this do i take the fuel conditioner out for the skull so that I can fit one more thing like the dog tag in my ass or something or nah I definitely think that dog tags should go into a dog's case though. Like, why don't they? It's an it's an information tool. Like if you tell me that a dog tag doesn't provide information, I would call you a fucking liar. Where is this man? 
do we think? Nebula, how's it going, bud? Vlog 25. You know how it goes. Head eyes? Bro, that vog. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Sturman. Down. He didn't eat that many rounds today, bud. He did not eat many rounds today. Oh, bud. Nice SR, though. Oh, never mind. I lied. You do have a... So let's drop this, throw that right there, yeah. Woohoo! Oh no, I wanted to check the Sturman, Sturman stash. <laughs> Why do I find it so funny when scavs yell random shit? You always laugh. Bro, everybody laughs. Can't help it. A Pachki. Twenty one minutes left. Why am I confused as to where his stash is right now? Come on. Nice upgrade, I agree. Could not agree more. Um, drop those. We can drop that and that. And there we go. Off to the fucking races. Now, I do need to, um, stop up here somewhere to get my mags out of my rig. But for now, we, we got, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good.
Yeah. Fuck. Right. This can go there. Need meds. Honestly? Now we have all the fucking room. <laughs> We're already 60 kilos. Oh, I love it. I love it. Approximately 25. We'll reload. Run, fat boy, run. Bro, you want me to run? Do you really want me to run? Because you, you said, you said run. You said run. So we're going to run until we can't run anymore. What's scarier? 12 gauge flashbang or the tank of a nearby grenade? Hmm. Honestly, the um, the 12 gauge um, Zvedka round is just annoying more than anything. It's not really scary. Now the tink of a grenade, yeah, immediate, immediate um, ball dropping. Not far as. That combo, you can run half of shoreline without stopping. I mean, I can run, can run all of shoreline without stopping. Look at that regen. Look at that regen, bro. With 60 kilos weight. Playing, then you hear a grenade. Now that's a little terrifying, yeah. That's pretty terrifying. Because then it's. If I move, do I die? Or if I move, do I live? So, like, it's. Stop. Good girl. Oh man. So I only killed the one guy. The other guy got away. And then not only did he not kill Sturman, he died to Sturman. <laughs> he died he died he died to somebody via headshot. Can the flashbang shells hurt you or do they have an actual projectile? Um, chilled. I don't. I don't really know. I honestly don't know. I don't. I don't use them on a regular basis. I hate that alpha rig. It's gross looking. X bills aren't good unless you have a face shield. Just looking. Yeah. This guy did give us some M six one. In his um, DVL with a voodoo. Um, hold on, let me let me check. I can see. We can see. If they do, I don't, I don't have them yet. Where are they? Um, I might have some. 
but I, I don't think there's a projectile um, in them. Shrap, barricada, shrap, shrap, barricada, barricada. Um, let me just look up linked to a KS. Linked ammo rounds, Zvetka flashbang round. Vezda, Vezda, Vezda. Well, you can look at we'll look at the ballistics chart and see if it um does damage or if it's just a flashbang. Zero, the Vesda round, the flashbang round, does zero damage, zero pin power, zero armor damage. So no, it's just a flashbang. It is only a flash, no damage output. So a lot of people, are, what they're gonna do is they'll they'll buy their Svedda rounds says the rounds and then they'll put um shrap 10 in it and then they'll take this one out and put a put a um flash round in it or they run just straight flash rounds and like a pistol um they're dangerous i don't I don't like using them just because it's so easy to blind yourself unless you're wearing some shit like this. And even still, you can blind yourself a bit. It just damages your soul, basically. Yeah, I can agree with that. It's soul damaging. I need water. Agua. Ooh. Scab. Where do we want to go with this? I guess we'll go to Lighthouse. We're only scaving on work in progress maps now, just because we get the we get twenty plus minutes in the raid as a scav. It's just too free to give up. At this point. <clears throat> I'm licking all over your legs and shit. Look at you. You done, you done licked the floor all up. What a monster. What a monster. What a monster you are.
it's definitely um shitty to get shot at with it um it takes it takes a whole like minute or two that flashbang lasts longer than the weather in tarkov in some cases takes forever to get your vision back bro I don't know how to, how you unlock the flash rounds. Do the named NPCs like Gleevar and the goons always have the same equipment and guns? No, they have a couple different loadouts usually. Um, Sturman almost always has a um, SVD and a uh, AK. They usually have a specified gun but they do sometimes spawn with different weapons like Tagilla spawns with um a Saiga but he also spawns with an um RPK or AK yeah RPK Killa spawns with an RPK So like so, sometimes they spawn with different weapons, but um, not all the time. But there are some NPCs that um, I haven't killed. I've never killed all three goons. I've Killed Sanitar last wipe. Um, the goons. I've never killed the goons. I've never successfully. Um, cleared out the entire rogue camp. Haven't done it. I just can't do it fast enough um, solo to make it worth my time. I usually don't make it out of the raid alive if I do things like that. Granted, I usually don't make it out of the raid alive anyway, so. Chair. You don't play Tarkov, you just like watching streams of it, so your knowledge is very minimal. But a lot of people's knowledge are very minimal. It's very mi minimal on the game. There are people that play every day, and they still learn stuff every time they play. Still learn things after thousands of hours in this game. But some things are very static. Some other things are very static. Like the way people play. No in between. Either they sit in a bush for 30 minutes or they run around like they're playing Call of Duty in a five man. One of the hardest parts about this game is, is for me, is fighting squads of people. It's just, 
I'm not good at it. I just die to them. Even if I do kill, you know, two or three of them, there's a fourth or a fifth one that will just sit back and wait on their friends' bodies for the rest of the raid. No intent of getting out, just stopping you from picking up their gear so that their insurance comes back kind of stuff. Like, I don't think insurance should be in the game. Because that's fucking stupid. It gives it gives them no incentive to even try to remediate the situation or get out of the situation. They're just like, okay, I'll lay here for another 20 minutes and make sure nobody gets my friend's gear out and we'll all get our gear back in 24 to 36 hours. That that kind of stuff is just stupid. shouldn't be a thing so like they go in as a five man and they have their 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 risk is very very low right but if you go in as a so as a solo your risk is very very high um if you only play solo tarkov there is absolutely no point in ever insuring a single piece of gear. There's no point in that. Because in 98% of the time, you'll you'll never get that gear back unless you yourself throws it in the water or some shit. Insurance is a scam in this game. It's made just for teams. There are a lot of things in this game that as a team you have a significant advantage like the ability to talk across the map in discord and get information about things on the other side of the map. just it's it's a lot harder to die like yes people die every day all the time what if someone extracts with something you insured you don't get it back in insurance but a lot of times so people will go in as a four or a five man one man will sit back and then just if everybody else dies he'll sit there and watch the gear um until nobody can get it out and then he'll go and get some of the gear or he'll just get out of the the raid with his own gear um but it's just it's a place so that they get all of their insured gear back i don't think that should be a thing i think they should have to if your teammate or you don't get out with the gear that you went into that raid with i think it should disappear i don't think insur insurance is stupid that's ridiculous. Someone, if, but yeah, if someone extracts with um, the stuff that you have insured, you don't get it back in insurance. That's the, that's the risk. So unless you're running in a four or five man that's going to sit on your gear after you die, it's it's a waste. It's a really, really, really big waste of ruble um, to insure gear. You'll spend millions on insurance for your gear and you might get back 20 or 30,000 rubles worth of gear. Might. If you die to a scav, you're probably not going to get a single fucking thing back. They're going to take everything on you.
So that that's one of the, that's a pretty annoying thing to deal with is whenever they just sit on their friends' bodies until the timer runs out. It's just stupid. It it. I don't know. There are a lot of things in this game that squads can do that give them a tremendous advantage, like talking in Discord. This tremendous advantage. Um, if you're in a squad, even though there's in-game chat now, it's far more realistic. They just use Discord because everybody else in the lobby can't hear them talk they can scream and talk to each other and strategize across the map without making any sounds insurance as a scab is a thing because you don't actually lose anything correct correct As a scab, do NPC scabs ever give you issues? Usually not. Not unless you kill another NPC scab, do um, NPC scabs ever give you an issue? Um, unless you are less than six rep. And then the only NPC scabs that will attack you are like bosses. They might kill you for fun if you're less than six rep. That does happen. It's gross. There were Ugh. Grounds made it into that cup of coffee. Just, just like I just swallowed a mouthful of fucking gravel. Yeah, was gross. It was very gross. I concur. Honestly, the biggest issue that I have with NPC scabs is in factory. Whenever you ask them to follow you, sometimes they'll get in such positions to where you can't go in a certain direction like through a hallway they'll block you <laughs> that's kind of annoying but other than that they usually don't cause any issues um as a scav as a player they're kind of annoying if they spot you because then they start screaming at you and it's like it's like a um like an alarm. Little scabby army. Yeah. Yep.
to be building little scav armies. That'll help. You can get shot from this window. I've died to a guy. I don't know where he was. I'm assuming he was up there, but like a wiper two ago, I died to a guy from that window. to tell the difference from an mp scab and a player scab just off of looks no um but it's pretty you can usually tell just by the way that they move so ai scabs usually walk in a single direction right and they can spin around and look and ads and stuff and they don't ever stop going in that one direction so it's like like that is how an AI scab would walk. Like they don't veer from their their like their line they're walking in. Um a lot of times they just walk. Um AI scabs never jump. Um, so like if you see a scab doing this shit and jumping, definitely a player scav. If you see a scab just walking and spinning around, that's an AI scav. But like if a player scab is just chilling amongst NPC scabs, you wouldn't be able to tell. Uh mm. I mean, technically no but um usually there there's a specific number of scavs that can spawn in areas it's like three to five so like if there are there's six it would be pretty obvious that there's far too many scavs here um but a lot of it just comes down to how they re react to you. Um, that's the biggest the biggest teller. If they see you and then they go another direction, probably a player scav. If they see you and then immediately get behind cover, probably a player scav. Just little things like that. Stop. Big dog. Keep scratching. Do NPC scabs see PMCs? 
and immediately aggro uh depending on the range yes usually npc scatters will aggro um players regardless um yeah usually npc scabs don't try to avoid you um if you shoot at them they immediately run usually but sometimes like occasionally they'll stand their ground but it's very occasional like whenever you get into your like end of raid screens like what we just went through you can't tell if they were players or ai scabs yet um it only shows um that you killed scabs even if even if it was a player scab it only shows the scab name not the player name The only way to tell if you died to a player scav um, is in the death menu. It will say the scav name and then in parentheses, it will have the player's name. <laughs> All right. A ton chat. I'm gonna sell some stuff while the ads are rolling. They have scabs. They're just ran or they have names. They're just randomized. Sell, sell, sell. Ads have finished. Uh, NPC scabs have names as well. Um, th they're like randomly generated names. So some of them are really, really sus looking. But uh, as long as it doesn't have a player name next to it, it's, it's meant to be that way. interesting yeah yeah um so like if i were to kill a 
person, another scav or another player on my scav, this name would be in parentheses next to my scav name. Be right back. How often can you be a scav? Seems like there could be a better option on it. Time seeing is how you get a free loadout and immunity to being killed by other scavs. Uh, so whenever you start at the beginning of wipe, it's about 30 minutes, um, your scav timer. Um, if you have, if you upgrade to max hideout, that's the way I'm going to say it, just because I don't remember exactly what you need um, that reduces your scav cooldown. Uh, but max hideout, um, you it reduces it down to 10 minutes. Thirty minutes. That's about how long is a raid normal? Like fifty minutes? Yeah. So like that's. 30 that's if you spend 50, 50 minutes in a raid um raid timer is between 30 and 45 minutes on most maps um but a lot of times you don't live but five to ten minutes oh i only survived four out of ten raids right now Statistically speaking, I only survive four out of six raids, or four out of 10 raids. But um, scav timer, whenever you get into a raid, you're, um, you usually don't get into a raid until um, 10, 20 minutes left in the raid. You haven't seen me die yet? That's because I haven't. haven't ran into any players that aggressively sought me out to kill me. Earlier, I, um, I caught the first um, squad off guard, and it was just a two-man. And then everything else I saw in that raid was AI. Can scabs have MVGs? Um, usually not. Um, there are AI that can spawn with MVGs. I think rogues can spawn with MVGs, but no, mo most of the time they do not. Trust me, you'll see them die a lot. Yeah, I do die a lot. I died off 
shit load yesterday, bro. It was just death after death after death. But I was also running um shoreline and shit like that. Some maps shoreline and customs map some maps just draw squads like the majority of things the majority of people that play the maps are just they just run in squads player scabs can't spawn with mvgs that's rough for night maps i assume uh, yeah but i mean you get you can choose you get to choose whether or not you go into a morning a daytime or a nighttime raid those are good crates this is a um is this uh no no this one isn't the quest one it's the elite one that you need for the quest whatever let's take that the first time i've ever seen food spawn out in the open there Probably should have ran straight to med camp, but you know, we think a little out of order. So, like most player scavs that spawn in nighttime maps you they know the map well enough to um reverse it in the dark um after you learn the maps well enough you can traverse a lot of them in the dark some of them are hard like this map is kind of difficult to traverse at night just because everything's green so unless you have mvgs it's kind of difficult to do in the dark unless the moon is out Sometimes you get really good nighttime raids with a full moon and fucking everything's really well lit. And sometimes you get really, really dark, terrible, foggy, rainy nights. And those are just not good for anybody. <laughs> no way. No fucking way. We need to get out with this, like, alive. Run, run, run. I don't want to run. I'm not running, bro. We've had this conversation. The more you run, the more you die. I need to get to outskirts or bridge VX. I think outskirts is going to be the safest. Bet. Just because I don't want to run all the way to the back side of the map and not, um... Yeah, we really need this. We really need this fucking LEDX. Yeah, it's a LEDX. It's the... F we really, really, really need to get out with this alive. That's the vein finder. Yeah, yeah, it's a vein finder. It's worth well more than one mil right now, chill. It's worth a fucking thick case and quest progression. Way more than one million rubles worth. That's weird. Knew it looked familiar. Yeah, it's um, it's made by Vein Light, I believe. It's a it's a real um, real thing. Is that Sturman again? That's if that's Sturman again. It's the third time he's been here today. Yo, that's crazy. You have one in your house. All right. Those are kind of expensive. Why do you have one in your house? Are you are you medical personnel? It was $679. Do 
Do you regularly have to give yourself injections, sir? Six hundred and seventy nine dollars. So that's about that's about seven hundred thousand rubles in this game. Don't question why I have weird stuff in my house. You own two pairs of MVGs too. Those are useful. Those are useful. How how many times have you had use to say, damn, I really need my 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 MVGs right now? Fuck. I could really use the no, you never use the LEDX. Then why do you own the LEDX? What is that, the AXMC? You know what I did not replace? And I also didn't get the... Abdulbus out of my ass. PKs are wearing off. Use a propital. Um, and then I suppose I'm going to traverse this area down here. While they're fighting up top. Look, you never use the Ledex. Why do you own one? It's 2 a.m. and you want something in the kitchen but don't want to turn on the lights because they hurt your eyes. The answer, 3K MVG lights. Oh, man. If only. All right, we're going to go up to Br Bridge VX because... Um, there are lots of players that way. up at Villa at the and I have the lead X because it's in a trauma kit you have ah that would be top tier for someone that's never installed a pick line premium doing that <laughs> at home but sounds fun yeah how much is the how much is the thick case barter right now what what is it estimated at because that's how much this LEDX is worth. Plus, like, 20k XP. Thurman's still up. Or POV, someone broke into your house, it's 2 a.m. You're out on nothing but boots, your level 4 plate, MVGs, nothing more. You're now the king of the jungle, and you have an okay in your sights. <laughs> Oh man, true story. 
me check to see if uh bridge is still here pray in your sights ah and you have to pray in your sights got you got you i feel you i completely understand what you're saying i don't know how many people ever run into that situation but um yeah i i would probably just use my um 120 dollars submergible flashlight i have a I have, a, I have a flashlight that's good up to like three atmospheres. It's good down to over a hundred meters. Very, very bright. I'll never go that deep again, but I have a light that can do it. And a watch that can do it. Think your nods are waterproof? Mm. So picture this. It starts raining. And you're outside. Now your prey is no longer in your sights. You have now become the hunted. Also, if they have a flashlight. A, a, a good flashlight they have already made your nods ineffective they have already hurt you with that flashlight yeah I wouldn't want to try it either those things are fucking expensive please be here Okay, they can handle rain, but if I end up waging war on fucking Atlantis, then yeah, you're screwed. Yeah. Yep. See, all of the cartoon representations of the sea are so very wrong. Because you can... S friends! Friends! We can be friends! You know what? Fuck you, bud. How about that? How about that? I'm so nervous. Bro, we made it. We made it. We made it. We fucking made it, boys. We made it. All right. That, that was... Intense boys, that was intense. It was so intense. I was so fucking nervous. That's the same guy that I um shot at previously on the other on the other bottom of the map. He traversed up as well. Let X. Woo -woo. About time. About time.
about time, man. About fucking time. About fucking time, bro. Double. Double thick. Delete that LEDX and don't hand it in. Bro, I've been looking for that LEDX for two weeks now. It was literally blocking me from this quest line that I want to do. I have to complete decontamination services. It was, it was locked behind private clinic. Um, and I need to complete. Living high is not a crime part two, and we will unlock, um, network provider. So, that. On their phone. You're the fourth streamer today. You've watched Get That Letx. Just didn't know what it was. Really? That's crazy. That's fucking tremendous, though. We, we needed that. We needed that. Is huge. Actually, huge. Never take a day off. Work around the clock. My engineer getting paid off. Rock like a sop, like the weed and take off. So high, I can I see paid off. All right. So now we go to interchange. Close it ain't in the stores yet. Travel back in time up in the vortex. You know you've been getting shipped loads of Letx all week. Yeah, we all know. We all know, chill. You don't have to be a dick about it. I'm just kidding, bud. I'm just kidding. All right, where where are we? Do we go back to woods? We keep going woods. Nah. I need to make it to, I need to get the interchange. We gotta kill a bunch of scabs. We need to buy some um, some uh, respirators and maybe we run an MP7. I just got kicked out of that raid. Look at P real quick. Be right back. Oh, not the scavs. They just want to vibe. <laughs> Agree to disagree.
Gab lives matter. But do they really? Okay. They matter to you? Just like when they cream random shit. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, Patchki. Is it a cream? Are you a scab? Пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Вдохнина, тварь! А ты шалава! Вот тупырь! Вот гнида! Гнида! Зачем, блядь, чё? Don't mind if I do. I use those regularly. Yo, we look cool as fuck. God, I wish my fucking PMC had an 81% survival rate. I think everybody does. Yeah, your SR is 61 on your scav or on your player? Is that on your player? If so, gross. Obviously, any any person over 50 is cheating. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Your scav is 39. Why is that? Why is yours different? Why? Why? How? I guess, I guess you play your scav like I play my PMC. And you play your PMC like I play my scav. Is that, is that what's going on? As you always get killed by player scabs, really? I wonder why. Maybe because you sound like you weigh a million pounds. One million pounds. Oh, Bubba. Sorry to see you go, Sturman. Yep, thick scav. Yeah. Those footsteps, they hear your footsteps and they just think, fuck, I gotta kill him. 
Gotta kill him. Gotta do it. They left that, like, intentionally. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how to say any of that, Nebula. I know how things sound when I hear them, but I don't know what they look like on paper, like written down. I have zero idea what any of it looks like. So like when I hear Juan Suka, I have, I know what Suka looks like, but I don't have any, I don't get a picture of anything or one on. I don't I don't know what any of it means either so it's okay right. Scav is its own language? No, it's Cyrillic. Russian. It is Russian. It was a joke. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry I ruined your joke. <laughs> it's a habit. If you voice like an NPC scav, they should scream back. That would be so sick. Yeah, if, they, if they got angry when they heard bad Russian, yeah, that would be good. I would, I would pay for that. Somebody comes, one and suka, and they're and they're just like, they just lose their fucking minds. Like that was English. <laughs> Where's the English speaking motherfuckers? gets popped by NPC Sky for having bad Russian. Exactly. I'm 
MPX Midwest. It's fun. Blog shit bullets, bro. Hey, bud. I think this is AI. Are there landmines? Claymores? Uh, not that um, we can lay down or anything. No, not yet, anyway. Nikita has not added those. There are landmines that you can walk on on the map, though. Like, um, this map, if you walk out of bounds anywhere around it, you either get shot by a sniper or you get blown up. Um, there are landmines on a couple of different maps. Mostly Lighthouse um, has the landmine issues. It's this map and Lighthouse that have landmines. But no, but no traps. No like traps specifically set or anything like that. Just, just fields of landmines. Um. The ones on Lighthouse are mostly defensive landmines to protect uh, points of interest. Like, the rogues put down landmines on the bridge, and they put down... On the bridge to Lighthouse, there are um, landmines. And then... Um, around the water treatment plant, there are landmines. But I mean, they're only in a couple of places. They're pretty easy to avoid. Pretty easy to avoid. Definitely a way to go out. Definitely one of those. I used to hate this fucking map, but now it's like, it's one of the most peaceful maps um, in the game. Like, there are places that you can go and you never, or you rarely see players. But like Shoreline, you walk 10 fucking steps anywhere and you're liable to get domed by somebody on the other side of the map with a goddamn sniper rifle. Da, da, da. Is that a 5-7? It is. We found it. One of the best guns in the game. A pistol that shoots a rifle round. Gotta love it. I've killed rogues at over 200 meters with this gun. You almost bought one of those a few months ago. They're such good guns, but the bullets are expensive. But you ended up hating it? Why'd you hate it? Why'd you hate it? It's such a good round. It's... 
very effective at range. Old Station, Eastern Rocks. Was it too snappy? So bulky, it's all plastic, it didn't fit your hand well. So you have small hands is what you're saying. For like one of those guys from the Burger King commercials. And you couldn't find holsters for it anywhere. Mm, that would suck. Yeah, you 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 got you got moderated. The ammo was ridiculous to find. I can see that. Um I can see that. A lot of a lot of bullets like um a couple of years ago got harder and harder to find. So like um thirty thirty. 3030 ammunition very difficult to find and it's very expensive i have a brand new nikon bde sight on my 3030 lever action marlin and um i haven't sighted it in because it cost like 100 bucks to get enough bullets to fucking to sight the damn thing in it's just not it's not it's not reasonable we have a 30 odd six that does the same thing and it's already sighted in it's just the bullets are so fucking expensive it's a pretty good scarf got some gas got a wave Hell yeah. 3030 is pricey as fuck. Yeah, I agree. I've got to take the dog out. She's been whining for two raids now. I'll be back and we'll go to somewhere. I don't know. We're going to do some hideout stuff. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oops.
intelligence. We need to kill scabs from less than 60 meters while wearing specific gear. One condition must be wearing a chemical respirator or a gas mask. so specific yeah there are some tasks that are very specific specificity is the name of the game There are some far more specific tasks. Um, this one's good. Eliminate Sturman from over 50 meters while using an M700 sniper rifle with a specified scope. Eliminate Kella 100 times. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Um, this one's great. Eliminate PMCs with headshots from over 100 meters. I still didn't do setup. That. Do I need to do setup for some reason? I feel like that's an important task. Uh, chill. Do you know? Do you know, sir? I need these. And I need glass. You wouldn't hit a guy with glass, would you? Labbard. an empty thing All right i hate that that does not go in there All right i want to keep this one i don't want that we're gonna keep all of those And sell everything else outside of that. I'm busy, too busy, fucking. How much was that Ledex worth? Before I gave it away so willingly, 800K, which is down. They were, they were over a mil the other day. They've went down 200K. Yeah. 
we were just like, here, you can have it. Modding. Um, blinked. Really? Functional? Mounts? Sites? What? Where am I? Can you not put a face shield on this one? Gross. Would it kill you to put some pants on? He doesn't even give you half of what it costs to buy straight up. Oh, you turned it in for a task? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what gave us this, our second thick. So we bought this one because we couldn't craft our lead X this way. Um, and then you get this for um, turning over that lead X. So the thick fixed cost between 11 and 15 million if you barter them from a trader. So hold on, this one's good, this one's good. Let's go to, <laughs> this is good. So remember that lead X? Okay, 15 of them required for one of these. This sells to vendor for 1.9. Do scabs have the same? It depends. It depends. So players and player scabs have the same HP per body part. However, bosses, which are also scabs, have a tremendous amount of HP per body part more than you or any other regular scav. Yeah, yeah. So bosses have hundreds of health for their chest and thorax. Yeah. That's one boss. That's one of the rogue bosses. How many boss scabs are there? How many scaff bosses are there? So these are USEC bosses. There are cultists, blue horror, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. Or eight scab bosses. Um, these technically aren't scab. Uh, Knight, Bird Eye, and Big Pipe. Because they're not scabs. They're usex. They're rogues. So these, these three are rogue bosses. Knight, Bird Eye, and Big Pipe. Everyone else is a scab boss. So Santa Claus, Zarachi, Tagila, Sturman, Sanitar, Rashala, Killa, Glucar, Cultist. Those are all of the scout bosses. Okay, so Big Pipe has 220 chest, 700 or 70 head. So double what we have. Um, they have specific spawns. So Followers, Knight and Bird Eye, Big Pipe is the leader. He spawns on Customs, Woods, Shoreline, and Lighthouse. There is an 18% chance on Customs, Woods, and Shoreline, and a 24% chance of spawn on Lighthouse. 
Erda is the same, and so is Knight. Those three always spawn together. Um, Cultist Priest, Nighttime Factory, 2%. These are a rare spawn. Customs, 10%. Woods, 10%. Shoreline, 10%. Um, and these only spawn on in nighttime maps. On nighttime maps. Um, Gluey, 24% on reserve, 7.6 on Streets of Tarkov. He spawns behind Lexos, car dealership. Uh, Killa, interchange spawn, Streets of Tarkov spawn. Rishala only spawns on Customs. Thanatar only spawns on Shoreline. Sturman only spawns on Woods. The Gila spawns on Night or Daytime Factory. And then Zarachi only spawns on Lighthouse in one area. So. This is the only spawn for Zarachi. And you can't. You can't cross this bridge until you unlock um, a specific transmitter that allows you to cross the bridge without getting blown up. Pain in the ass. Boss scabs are always hostile to PMCs, yes. All scabs are always hostile to PMCs. It's a... Um, So bosses aggro any scav with less than six rep with fence. So as long as this number is sub six, a boss scav will will attack your um, regular scav. Head time chat. When the happy gonna come for me? Yeah, 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 yeah.
all them drugs in your system you can't sleep how many times you had to buy a plan b for a girl you never bring back home to meet your family man man i swear that's what i dream about ever since my mom told me that she need me out but i paid her back for everything i guess we even now and better than some head after a long day it's the only thing that ever keep mine on straight rap god how are you doing today blaker we found our lead x we got our we got our thick we got our thick case bud we did it we did that we did that we now have all of the space We now have all of the space. Those are not my rhymes, sir. Those are not my rhymes. Those are Mac Miller's rhymes. Other side where the grass is always greener and your bitch is down to ride, but they ass is always meaner. Never thought I'd be an asshole. This is my last show. A hundred naked bitches in my dressing room waiting. Yeah, he did something without getting killed. Need a light X emote? I'm sure there's one somewhere. When you're feeling fucked over so much, always coming up short you like a roach to a blunt. I love that line. And you fit an X fill with a face mask on while wearing this get up? You have a VOG 20, bro, I hate VOG 25s. They blow up so fucking quick. They blow up so quick, it's scary. It's terrifying. I greatly dislike it. Uh, links, does this one take the ears? Ooh. Can you run ears and... Yes, you can. Sick. I forgot about the ears. Forgot about the ears, bro. I'm gonna go in here in our in our dress. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fucking. He doesn't match at all, but he looks mean. He's spending money, must be doing well today. Bro, I'm just, I'm really, really, really happy to start decontamination service. Cause we're getting very, very close to unlocking network provider. Get all of those fucking check marks. We're missing one, two, three, four check marks. I'm just excited to start. I need my interchange keys. Up here. Interlabs. We have to go here and kill scabs. I love that um, I can wear this face mask that sticks out further than the face shield. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? That, that just sticking right out of it. That's depressing. I feel like I feel like if the face mask isn't render if the shield isn't rendering it might not even work. That would be some Tarkov shit. 
that would that would be Tarkov. That would be that would be on par. Be on brand. Get one tapped with nine by nineteen green tracer. Just shoot me right here. Get <laughs> one tap me in the face. I'm excited to get closer to network provider. That is that is the goal. Even though network provider is going to be infuriating, more than likely, at least we're not looking for a single edX anymore. Anymore. And we got a new task. We got a new task to complete that just requires killing scavs. It's like, what? That's, that's our forte. It's our fucking forte. your backpack to fit in the fence no I don't think I will nebula thanks for the follow bud Coast servers, baby. Blaker, thanks for the alert. You'll be an adult. server is on fire. I always think that I can open that door for some reason. Not sure why.
Where is Opachki? Um, please don't do that. I just need scabs. Where are your scabs, Nikita? Gib. So foggy in here. That might be worth. Scabs stopped with their arms, but they didn't die. Or at least we didn't hear them die. I haven't heard many shots. Oh, there he is.
Oops. What did he say? Um, something about the lowest prices for live viewers, followers, and views. It's a service for buying followers for Twitch. That's that's all. That is all. Don't have an issue with it. Just I do have an issue with advertising things that I don't want advertised in my stream. Especially without asking. Can I post something in there? Yeah, no. If they'd asked, I would have said no, they wouldn't have been banned, but they didn't ask and it, it just showed up and they didn't say anything. They just posted an ad. I'm going to ban that every time. I'm going to ban that person every time. This is so empty. Don't ask me why it sounds like this. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea what this audio is, bro. It's a bit scuffed. It is a bit scuffed. Um. It sucks to be him. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to agree in this situation. I'm inclined to agree, sir. Oh. Oop. Right. 
these can go in here. We don't want that. We can drink one of these. Bro, why did why does my gun audio sound like that? That's scuffed. Was well, scuffed, bro. Um, get rid of that, 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 that. This can come out here. Up there. Oof, sucks to be me. Ah. He had his chance. He had his chance to boil my brains out. He did not... Take the offer that was freely given to him. The opportunity. Sorry. Right. I just need to kill scabs though. So like if people could fuck off, I would be would be grateful. <laughs> need 38 more. Let's face it, he was dog doo doo with all those missed shots. I mean, let's, let's. He was using a Saigo. So, I mean, can't really blame him. <laughs> it was a lot of missed bullets, though. A lot of missed bullets, those buckshot rounds. He looted this. Do I have railway? Because I'm fairly close to railway. It's a good gun. Just not like that. Yeah, he didn't use it right. I agree. I clap motherfuckers in factory with a saga. So does so does the Gila. That's literally his job. To clap motherfuckers with a saga in factory. As a sniper, I'm just stop. <laughs> you say the worst things. <laughs> yeah, I use that shotgun as a sniper rifle. <laughs> oh man, it cracked me up. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> I do though, and it'll still one shot somebody at 40 meters in the head. Yeah, it will. It'll one shot somebody in the head at 40 meters with full shot, bro. You don't even need AP 20. BMG. 
Yeah, I would use um, AP20. Then you can headshot people at 60 to 100. As you have nearly 200 rounds of it. Why? I prefer AP20 over 50 BMG. Just because it's a more consistent round. You like it better as it doesn't spread as much? Oh, um, 50 BMG has an accuracy buff, doesn't it? Because it's hand-loaded ammunition, it's got an accuracy buff. Yeah. Yep, and it's nearly 1.2k for a round, so it's like buying SMB. God. That's gross. Not a bad raid, but not a great raid either. Not a Timmy. We did not murder a Timmy this raid. That's good. That's promising. Full auto 556 five, MDR sounds so goddamn weird and inside of interchange. The audio was like clipping out. There were some instances I didn't even, I couldn't tell if my gun was shooting. Like it didn't do that. It was like, like some of it was silent. <laughs> It didn't, it wasn't making the do -do 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 sound inside. It was like it was losing that sound. It was a little odd when I shot it indoors, but I didn't want to do it again because drawing attention to me. Maybe. The desync that happens during fights got rid of it. I don't know. Insane around enough. Too many joy rides and daddy shag why too many white lines and white lines with nothing but fake friends. Oh I skipped it. Million one.
Bro. This arm is not being cooperative. Let's put this in a hollow. Out the herring. Searching. Oh, yeah. We have meds. We have extra meds. USD, rubles, hideout. I think I can afford to upgrade or to build my um, air filtering unit. Stop. No. Oh, cool. How much is it for 24k? Never mind. I lied. All right, quick factory raid. Um, adds interchange. I'm going to make some coffee.
Doesn't Agilla sometimes spawn with red? Eventually we'll do some Some key card hunting Cody coming. I don't know why Cody killed you and left the gear here. Unless Cody died too. Princess. Ну что, неплохой день, да? Четко все. do with that uh that guy right there um get that off of there what is in here we don't need those Pick this up we move this over here drop that this is our primary boom gamer it was a green he didn't have any extra bullets on him though which is unfortunate hmm it was right but kind of she need me show up with it Да и чё, нормально? There are dead people everywhere. Зачем, бля, чё? Кому тут пизды выдать? guys whole kit was still there but um i am not gonna complain about it not gonna complain about the sr2m the free sr2m we might have bullets for that gun but not run the ps with the colorful bright brass cartridges
to you. Just say good night to you. sell some shit real quick because this is stressful to look at for me in the mag case have this on health To say good night to you. go back we need to kill like 30 something more 30 30 and <laughs> 30, 37 more scabs today we are a scav murderer today that is the only thing I want to do is murder scabs Walk slowly and murder scavs. Speak softly and carry a big stick. Thirty-seven, you got this. Yes, yeah, I should eat. I should definitely be able to kill thirty-seven scavs in in. Four hours and 42 minutes. Killing scabs is far less stressful than searching for a Letex to get out with found and raid status. Far less stressful. And far more exciting. Like, fuck the gear. We don't need anything. We just need to kill scavs. Like, we don't fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's so much easier. Like, just to. And more like Because it's more exciting. It's not so static and set. Like, we're going to these things to look for this thing. It's like, we're going to roam about. We're going to, you know, loot some things. Just go kill some scavs. And for killing scavs, you can just go to the Glock. Yeah, but, like, my survival chances are going to be greatly higher. Like, significantly higher with this kit compared to a Glock. And I've got it, so why not wear it? Why not lose it?
for killing scouts, you can just go with a Glock. When we die, we'll, we're, we're going to go back with a Glock or a FN 5.7. And uh, a bag, big bag, packa. It's gonna be great. We're gonna cheap it out once this kit's gone. But um, for now, we're just gonna run this kit because I'm surviving with it. I'm a builder. I'm a builder. We 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 build up our um our nerve. We go in with shit gear. We get out. Okay, we improve our gear a little bit. We go back in, we survive, we get out, we improve our gear a little bit more until we die, and then we restart that process. My thing is, I go with a Glock to kill scabs, and then I run into players like in the first two minutes, and I die to them. I need the ability to kill a whole squad. And with with uh, with this MDR, I can I, I have a pretty good chance. stash pretty good pretty good there they like so I don't have any issues with the way that time passes while you're in your menus you know what I mean like it passes really fast like daytime I feel like it should slow down in raid. Like time shouldn't pass like a minute is an hour in raid. That's why the light changes so much. That's why the weather changes so much because 24 minutes in raid is an entire day. That's 12 hours in, in, in Tarkov time. I feel like it should slow down to, to like the rate at which it's passing real time. So that, you know, you don't get into raid and the gear that you're wearing is now useless because five minutes was five hours and now your NVGs are useless, your fucking IR flashlight is useless. I feel like if you go in at eight, time should then begin real time in raid not the exaggerated fast clock shit that goes on when you're out of raid.
forgot to run ads, so pre-rolls are gonna cut on in seven minutes. Tragic. For anyone new. This blurry spot, just to the right, is so fucking annoying. It's terribly, terribly annoying. Like, it's literally just a giant oval that is blurry. That would have been way harder with a Glock. <laughs> that would have been way harder with a Glock. I would have had to think far, far more. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats on not dying, Captain. Thanks. Yeah. Nah, one tap with a Glock. I mean... Possible? Absolutely. Uh, plausible? Probably not. Now look at the server. Top right. You just started shit in the bed. Like actually shitting the bed. It was fine moments ago. Now it's over 200. The fuck? Pretty sure I heard footsteps. We won't get back into that raid, we'll die. True story. Unlikely for us to live there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I heard footsteps. Maybe not. I 
I did not think I got back into this raid. Did not think I would. I should have taken my running drugs, I guess. Could have taken my taken my running drugs. Those actually are needed for quest. I don't know how he ate that many bullets, but he ate that many bullets. Had him for dinner, bro. Bullet buffet. Belly full of M8 5 Heavy boy. Am a heavy boy. My max is up though to eighty three. That's good. That's good. Thick. Get in there. Get in there. Sharper image. You basically have to wear like run PKs if you're wear if you're wearing a visor. Because everything's so and hazy without them 
I guess I could increase the sharpness, but then if I have to use PKs, it'll be over, overly sharpened. And I'll get lines and stuff, right? So. Thick like Kim K? Mm. We're naturally thick. We're not, we're not for that artificial thickness. Manufactured thickness. God damn. This is only a level four. Yep, not her for. Oh, man. All of these hats, there's been a hat in every single one of these sashes. All but one, I think, has had a hat in it. Just hilarious. Why is my why did my limit go down? Ah, uh, because it was getting buffed by the meds earlier. Head time chat.
Everyone should be back from the ads by the time we get into the scav raid. Пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Ха, ну и чё, нормально? Ну чё, шкура цела уже неплохо, а? Зачем, бля, чё? It's a lot of dead. Dead scabs. Still here. Как барыгам, короче, потом по бабам. Это 
Что за хрень? А, вот тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно. empties. Gav extract camping. All of that over a fucking meal and some ox ram and a diary. All of that.
All right. To interchange. If you ain't been involved. One of the most recent tactical ballistical helmets with extensive customization ability, the Oxville LTP lightweight tactical polymer bump. It's in protection for maritime environments and a stable, comfortable platform for mounting night vision and other accessories. The built in MVG shroud utilizes an integrated Wilcox, Wilcox machined aluminum shroud insert, black colored version. Let's see. All right, interchange. Maybe we'll go inside this raid. There are more, there are far more scabs that spawn in, inside. A I was listening to myself. Uh, 
Maybe I should have come in, like, yeah, when we die, we're going to come in naked. We're going to come in naked with a pistol. So that the scabs aggro us and, like, have meltdowns over us not wearing armor. It's my favorite piece of realism in this game. That every scav on the map knows whether or not you're wearing armor. So fun. this creature above me sound is still so scuffed on interchange not good sound bad many bads no idea where these people are that's above me I can honestly say that I have never been in a mall where I can hear people through the fucking ceiling. hate this. Did this guy just say hey to me? hope that wasn't to me.
think it was at me. Definitely above me. I just want scabs, bro. There's a guy like following behind me somewhere. Need to eat. Need some food. them to spawn they don't spawn We're going to go up, up and inside the mall from the rear. Because down here you can't, can't tell uh, like where the audio is coming from, whether or not it's coming from near you or above you. really not great really isn't that right
I get really fucking nervous coming into this mall. It's almost like IRL when I go into a mall. I just want scabs.
GG's. I mean, I just need scabs, but you're you're witnessing it, bro. They just come to me and they ask for death. That's what happens. They 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 ask for it, not me. Nothing I can nothing I can do to change their minds. Oh my meds, bro. out Super fucking racist name. I mean, super fucking racist. DOS racist. Come on now, figure it out. My arm isn't working right. I don't want that. That's fucking gross. I need to sell some shit because I'm tired of looking at it.
Um, 28. You know what? That's not really worth even posting. It's nowhere near 4K. This guy. We get like three K. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. That's it. That's all I needed. Um, we can easily burn 180 rounds. Need ears. Meds. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a. Forgot to get one earlier. Понятно. Давайте. Вот 
Ёбра, блин, все отбили на... Зачем, блядь, чё? Ну и чё, нормально? We're gonna have to go back to labs, um, uh, sometime. Sometime. Right back because I make a call. All right, bud. I'll be here. We probably have enough SMB to run, run SVDs for an entire day. Uh, not quite. 180. We got new challenges. We've got to go there anyway. I'm gonna any PMC. 
sure. No thanks, bud. And over a found in raid, SA-58. Maybe. I can't, I, oh, I don't have the, the. I don't have enough um, euros. Back to our stash runs and scav kills. Add time chat. without the internet ears Garden, same backyard, but we are not. Oh, oh.
Raid. <clears throat> Into the interchange. Double back to these two for one and a duffel and then flip around and start our route to um, railway. Just spawn, dog. Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking clown. So disrespectful, bro. It just feels rude. Like, I feel like an asshole when I kill somebody that soon in a raid. Just feel like an asshole. You just wasted 15 minutes of their life kidding up and fucking waiting to get into the raid. And then they you killed them 30 seconds in. You're just being a douchebag, bro. Go mind your fucking business. <laughs> That's my, my two cents on that. So completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. You didn't have to die here, son. You chose to die here. saying we're gonna start our route did i loot this duffel yet or did i get shot at before i got to the duffel i got shot at before i got to it okay thank you I don't, was that ricochet? I think that was I think that was grenade ricochet from in up from underneath. This one is not full mag.
Alrighty. Oh, hush. These mags take forever and a day to reload, dude.
How did that not shoot him in the head? Piece of shit. What a couple of losers. Good work, good kill. Yeah, you shot me in the leg. He had all that time and he couldn't even shoot me in the head. Just two PMCs ratting a friendly scab extract. That's how they get their kills. That's how they get their kills, bro. Whatever. Literally two PMCs riding an extract. Um, the queen of rats killed me. I don't know if it was a girl or not, but they were playing like bitches, so we're going to assume. Fucking respirator. Bro, I just think it's so crazy how many full squads of people sit in corners and shit on interchange. Fuck, they even do it on Lighthouse. I died to a four-man sitting in the same bush before. I don't understand it. I 
I guess if that's how they get off, that's how they get off. <laughs> HP don't shoot armors. Все нормально? Good try, I guess. I don't know. Loot delivery man. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Loot delivery man. Зачем, блядь, чё? That was nice of him. Yeah, it really was. Give me that man, Peach Boy. Sorry, sorry. You know, Josh, Kura Tsila was a neat look, huh? This gun's fucking big. This gun's big to be nine millimeter. <laughs> it's the length of a fucking MDR. Shoots nine mil. He was a generous, generous lover. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Nice armband. You didn't evade these bullets, did you? Evade in zero. <laughs> uh. Thanks, guys. This was nice. Was it nice? It was so nice of them.
And he was he was generous enough to get shot in the mouth. Literally, it didn't damage his helmet. Headshot. It didn't damage his helmet or his armor. Just unloaded into his dome. It only takes one round of HP to kill a person if you shoot them in the face. Pretty sure. I'm, the damage on HP rounds are, is, is high. That or it'll almost one tap somebody in the head. It was nice of him to die. Yeah, it was. Generous fellow. He's a giver. Where did that just go? I don't know. I don't really care. It's somewhere. Um, there we go. There we go. Oh, there it is. Right, AP, AP, unload, split, load, load, top up, split, 51.
Might as well, right? Not you. You don't sell those. No, I don't use these. We we know this. We know this. I keep. I, I don't know why I'm keeping them. Um. So we're we're gonna we're gonna sell them. No, no. I don't like them. Let's see how this shoots. This this gun that this fellow gave me. Scav donation. Oh my god. He should have mopped my ass. What the hell was he doing? What was he doing? Are you kidding? What was he doing? <laughs> Holy. What were you doing, sir, that you didn't kill me? All right, so we can make the air go way better. Bro, I hate it. I hate it. Stop. This one. Meta MPX. I mean, it was pretty gross before, but like. Ooh -wee. It was already gross. Now. All right, we go back to kill scavs. Um, how many are we at? Jesus, still need 32. Last rate, it wouldn't have mattered if I killed a scav or not. Because I wasn't wearing a mask. I wasn't wearing the proper attire. The specified gear.
Oh, my eyes are a bit dry. Not blinking like I should be. I don't even smoke, but my bro got a O on him. Maybe I should have put a, a Valde or something on this. Maybe. Couldn't, couldn't have hurt. Stashes. One just shot at me.
making me uncomfortable. Paper's worth a pretty good penny right now, isn't it? Ah, oh, I don't have grenades. I didn't I didn't replenish my grenades that I lost. Um, I missed, missed this one. If we make it out of this raid, we'll have to put a Valde on this. We'll have to put a Valde on this gun. I'm just walking by stashes this raid, bro. Just not even paying attention. Rid of paper.
Bro, what a hell of a place to sit. He wasn't even moving. And his friend was calming back there. His friend was like over here, make like doing comms. Um, I don't really want to check that mode spawn. Don't want to do it. We've had some really good raids today, and we got a lead X. And we got a lead X. One, two, three, four. Audio gone. One, two, three. All right. I don't know why that just occurred.
I don't know what that was. My internet just dropped completely out. And then it had to reconnect. It had like 15 reconnection tries. Hopefully we get back into this raid with no hitches, no issues. Hopefully we're alive and not injured. Bro, no shot. While I was out, a fucking airdrop was called in. What? From where? How? How? Head ears running. Scav. Good. Whatever. What a dog shit map this has been for the past hour.
All right. Maybe we'll survive a scab raid. I don't know. I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> not going to hold my breath. I apologize for the stream. It, my bitrate keeps dropping super low. I think my internet's going to drop again. It's fine. Did not know if it was you or not. Well, I mean, um, my bitrate's just fucking diving. Earlier it went out for like a minute. Uh, why does it think that network is on? All right. Back. Yeah, it was me. I don't know why my internet fucked up like that, but it did. Apologies. Something's not right. Something's not right here. It's a little broken. A little broken. to restart the computer.
Should have scout scout hide out at Grotto. The stream did reconnect on its own with audio though, chilled, so that's good. Twice. I mean, that's something it's ne never done before. Surprise, motherfucker! Why is my guy crouching like that? Broken raid. For me, anyways. Into who? side of this place like weird right here. <laughs> can't get to it from inside you have to go around or over pretty trash Did Elgato freeze? Since March 5th, with the support of BattleEye Anti-Cheat, nearly 2,000 have been banned. Announcement as of... All right, bud. Ah, music. All right. Restarting the game. Just going to help out with dinner, Mr. Lede. <laughs> All right, bud. I'll be here. I'll be here. Lay some up, lay some. Blue stay shoes, stay crispy like bacon.
a little bit obnoxious. Oh. Now, cigarettes and weed. I got no swag. If it's on my feet, they the throw bags. They attach to my gonads. Say what up if you see me around. Like your yeah, ass separate my feet from the ground. I have that key. I did for real. You can't spell that shit for you say I'm persuasive, but you can't spell that shit for real. Oh, I don't have any gear on. Good. Oh. Need a headphone. What's the best ones? Probably the ones you can only buy 200 of, yeah? That is all we need. Big ass.
Oh man, bad time. So that you don't get ads in the raid. Well, not ads in the raid. So that people that come in during the raid don't get ads. This is what that does, basically. People keep bothering me. I've never watched my VODs with audio, but like, I bet they sound wild. Hmm. Got a few more seconds before. Ads are over. I just need some AI, Nikita. I guess I could start coming in naked. Wasn't that the plan earlier? To start coming in naked. Or I got distracted, I guess. That was the, that was the plan.
Can't do both. Both require hands. Not sure how I feel about this gun yet. Not super. I honestly don't know what I was about to say. Terrible idea. It's gone. You hear him clicking. He's got it on a um what you call it? Flashlights on a macro. Killed this guy. Gross. This is so... Uh, I hate this. Oh, it's everywhere. The sound in here is so fucked up.
I don't. They're above me. God, you passed the fuck out. <laughs> I'm still streaming. I mean, it hasn't been that long. You were n not out a whole long time. A really long time. Okay. Okay. Go up there and die. Damn. He didn't die. This sound is all oh, scuffed. Stream did go down for a second or two while you were out, but it recovered gracefully. There, there's a guy that was on the escalator, and then a guy right here in like Emercom or whatever that fucking place is called. Emercom's downstairs. There's another. Uh. Advantage me. Have you died since your absence? Probably. Damn. Damn. Let me see. Current survival streak, zero. Yeah, I died last raid. <laughs> I died last raid.
so 100% yes. Think he's got a friend? Nice laser beam, bro. Get those off of there. I can't put this on with this. And I need that, so that back on there. I'll take um right. any backup bullets now we do you're the lucky my fucker charm yeah probably, probably. I don't doubt it. Do not doubt it. Now there is a dead fella somewhere on these stairs, no? Yeah. MDR. Fucking champions. They died for the good of the community. All right, what's my extract? Is it Emercom or Railway? Railway, okay. Damn, we are kind of thick. Kind of thick, boys. Just a little bit. as fuck yeah mm, thick Feel like a whole fucking snack for any player scav any ai scav i look like a whole fucking dinner bro Like a whole fucking meal. Fuck a snack.
I come to kill scabs, and what happens? I get lobbies full of fucking players and minimal scabs. So gross. I feel like the server population changes depending on tasks. Kill scabs, no scabs. Biarmabitsi. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Please don't. Please don't do that. Please stop. Please stop. Make scab noises. I like these five, five, six marksman rifle with a ultra thunder. It's a thunder beast. Okay. Sounds cool. Sounds real cool. I like it. That was a player. Ratting there. He didn't pick up the coffee, but I don't I don't really care that much about it. So I would much rather get out of this raid and take a piss. The thing about a lot of the scab comms is I, actually all of the scab comms, I have no idea what they're saying. Like he could be saying, I fucked your mom in the ass with my elephant schlong and I would have no idea. Zero idea. Be like, cool, bro. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> this would be more effective psychologically if I knew what you were saying.
Bro, we've been getting really, really thick the past, uh, past couple raids. We have been committing some murders. Interested. He is. Here's some stuff. <laughs> Here's some stuff. <laughs> Stuff like, let's do it, and this is easy. Come for me now. Yeah. You just try it. stamina drain. GG's. Thank you, Mango and Scrappy for the gear. I appreciate it. I'll be right back. I gotta go pee. Gotta go piss. Xville, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I only killed one of them. Where did I find the other tag? Was it an old tag?
I don't know how many. I'm not keeping count of the scabs that I'm killing. Even though I should be in my head. Keeping some sort of count. But. Should be, I should have the scab voice lines be sus as fuck. I mean, a lot of them do sound sus as fuck, even if they aren't. Does he wear less clothing but has bigger pockets than Sturman? Or are they pockets? Oh, Sturman's were two buys. I don't know. I think that's a little bit too sus. You have to remember this is this is a war zone. <laughs> and not like a modern warfare Call of Duty war zone. This is Nikita's war zone. Um, let's get this shit off.
psychological warfare. I mean, fair. But I mean, if you want to say stuff like that, you can, you can say it in void. Psychological injuries don't heal. I mean, they do. It just it takes a different type of um, recovery. They don't heal the same way, but they do heal. They can be healed. I like this thing, this little thing, except I want a different, um, All right, um, we're good, yeah. We just need some, like, bring some grenades. We don't, we don't have any grenades. We don't sell that, need that. Yo, why was this not in that gun? This one had M995 in it. Why did, why was she running? I am, I'm a little, I'm, I'm confused. I am confused, but whatever, whatever. Do you, bro? Do you? Why does this mag go into a pistol case? That is a weird one. Fuck you, pay me. Alright. Just sort of completion. Yes, it just depends on what kind. So the Batwolves and the Condors. Um, so these right here offer level one protection. Um, so level one and level two protection are good for like uh, ricochets and stuff like that. Um, it's not going to save your life if you get shot by one of these or any any of these bullets. If you get shot in the eye with anything, it's usually not going to stop it. It's going to damage your head. Um, but it's good for ricochets and stuff like that, which are far more common than you think.
Um, so I usually wear um, something like this, something that covers the face and not, oh yeah, contact in the rack. I usually have something that covers my face as well as the eyewear. Um, later in wipe, I start wearing stuff like this. So this front piece right here is a level two. So you have a level two over your face and you have a level one over your eyes. Um, so some of them offer protection. These offer protection and the Bat wolves offer protection. Um, most glasses in the game, um, provide some sort of Flash protection, though. So most most of them have some sort of flash protection. This one doesn't, right? Because even though it has this shield right here, it doesn't have any flash protection. But this does. So ricochet chance, it has a medium chance to ricochet things that hit you in the eye. Um, eyes protection against flash bang, 10%. So... Um, Flashbangs are 10% less effective to vision behind these glasses. Um, there are some that offer better than that. Um, like these, the gas welders. They have 45% protect, 45 protection against flashbangs. A lot of people wear these if they're going to use flashbangs. But yeah, most of them don't provide any sort of protection other than um, flashbang reduction, flashbang efficacy reduction. Is there anything that can completely cancel out flashbangs? No, no. It's like... I mean, it's just like welding. You, they don't make a welding helmet that completely blocks out all of the light from a, from your arc. Uh, it's just not possible. You wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see anything else. It would be so dark. Body shame Nikita, Jesus. Why? Why? That's just fucking mean. He is the creator of the single best first person shooter to ever exist. Oh, yeah. I have, I need some agua. Splash. Let's get some grenades from proper.
All right. Go back again. Another. All right. We look. We look. All right. We need 29 more. 29 more. It's just, it's, it's not, it's not physically impossible to cancel out the, the flash of flashbang without closing your eyes. Oh, 29 more scav kills on interchange until we complete decontamination services. Well, 29 more scav kills wearing this face mask, a ma gas mask of some sort. Sorry, a respirator of some sort. I mean, at least it's not 40, 40 players. It's 40 scavs. That's not too bad. It's not unheard of. To kill fifteen scavs in a single in a single um raid. It's not super uncommon. But I mean twenty nine scav kills could take two raids, it could take twenty raids. It's just Tarkov. That is just Tarkov. Just the nature of the game. I'm really interested in Dr. Disrespect's game. He's talking about finding things in the raids that are worth $100,000 on blockchain. Like, that would be, that would be exhilarating. It's almost like gambling, but it falls down to your skill in the game. That would be sick. That'd be sick. Can you imagine finding a tank battery in this game and being able to sell it for $5 USD. I mean, not in RMT way, but like... You obviously couldn't do it in Tarkov. It would be gross. People would just... It would just be disgusting. It would be so abused. You couldn't implement it properly. But, um, nah, so like the loot in his raids are going to be linked to real world or, um, yeah, real world NFTs and shit like that. It's a really cool idea. It's the docs game. You can look it up. It's it's like a tower extraction shooter. You work your way up through the tower. And you find stuff and then you extract with it if you survive. But he wants it to be like. wants cryptocurrency to be involved in the game in some sort of way. I think he's going to do it with NFTs. There's a guy over there.
I don't know. I didn't realize there was three of them. Three or four of them. He ate a lot of those fucking bullets. He ate a lot of those bullets. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, bro. Like, I don't know anything about the logistics side of it or how it's going to work. I just know that's what he wants to do with his game. Bro, <clears throat> to even play the game, you have to own an N NFT related to the game. It's very, it would be very easy to track people's um, accounts and take the things that they get from cheating. Wait, oh, okay. That's good enough. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know anything about the logistics side of it or how the spawns would work or anything about it like that. Like, I just know that that is one of the ideas that he has loaded out into the world. And it, it does. It sounds really cool. I mean, it's not like everything that you find in the raid is going to be worth an extraordinary amount of money. You know, it's not like every piece of gear is going to be worth, you know, $50,000 or something like that. They, it might be worth two fucking cents. But, like, the idea of, wow, like that, like that it, it does sound exhilarating. Like it sounds, it sounds really fucking intense. Like we get nervous about a fucking Ledex. Like we, we, we don't, we don't gain anything really from, from finding a Ledex. We gain, we gain some, some ground in, in quests or rubles, but not really. Need mags. Well, dinner was good. Fish cake, smash, and gravy. That does sound pretty good. Oh, I still had another one of those. I just sold the bullets for it. Um, yeah, yeah. I've got to take those out and then flip them. Cool. What do I need? I need, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those things we don't, we can't afford. We can, we can get one, we can get one grenade. And we have bought the max number of those.
it would be kind of cool if you could put a kit together and put it on a market in game for IRL money and other players can buy kits other players put together. That would be cool. Yeah, I don't know much about the game. I know that it's in alpha and you have to own an NFT to play it. And the NFTs cost like $100, $200. Depending on what you want your um, your character to look like, you buy, you, you can buy a certain, you buy an NFT and that's what you look like in game. But your character looks like in game, looks like your NFT. But that's, all that I really know about the game. I don't know much. Definitely something that I'm interested in, but I just don't. Did not have the exposable income to buy a crab. Dead drop, that's what it's called. says it's free to play with no requirement of NFTs right now. Curious. Hi.
Variant guide. Yeah, I don't know. Those footsteps are so odd you thought I was screwed. Uh, it's just another scav. Just another player scav. Right, we go back. We go back. I want to save this. Uh, I don't want to save this. Uh, D whatever the fuck this thing. DML DX fifteen. Let's pull this out. Pull the enough off. All right, we're trying to kill 30 whatever scabs in the next hour and seven minutes. It's a scab every two minutes. We've got to start murdering motherfuckers, bro. No, we're not going to murder. Um, so F1s, RGDs, and VOGs, VOG 25s, not the other ones, are good. They're all fairly lethal, but it's basically a gamble if it's going to kill them. And just because of the fragmentation, you know, it's... But um, I would have to say the, yeah, those are good, but they have really short fuse. So if you need to throw it a far distance, it's not going to make it. Um, if you need to throw your grenades really, really far and you want them to roll as well, M67s are the way to go. Um, they have the longest fuse and they're round, so they fucking roll and all that great stuff. Um, F1s just kind of bounce about. Uh, they don't really roll or anything too great. They tumble. Um, but they're, they're an effective, they're an effective grenade and they're cheap. They're one of the cheapest grenades. Um, unfortunately, you don't have access to gr grenades whenever you first start. Not really. I'm terrible with grenades, bro. I, I I miss all the time. I fucking blow myself up all the time. M67s have a 5.5 second fuse IRL. Fun fact. Yeah, that's way longer than a VOG 25 where it's like, I think the fuse is like a second in this game. I don't know what the fuse time on M67s is in game. I can check eventually. Actually, I can go over here and check. It'll tell you, it tells you. Wiki. Weapons. It's weird because it's considered a weapon on its own. 
throwables are their own category. They're not like a... Explosive delay is five seconds flat. Tarkov. The five seconds flat. I don't know. I think of it as an ammunition. I don't know why. Because the arm is the weapon. <laughs> the grenade is ammo for the arm. See? He the arm is useless in war, unless it's got a weapon in, or you know, ammunition in it. Because you can have a weapon and not have ammo, and then it's fucking useless. All I want are your scabs. Yo, I have a. Deep love for marksman rifles. I think I need to deselect the West Coast server. Because it's always so trash. Every time I get put on it. didn't bring a backpack oh no whatever will we do Gotta be underneath, right? Think scabs is a scab? No, I wasn't a scab. I was a player. I was a player. There was a lot of desync there. I was getting shot by a scab. And I was. Later. I can't, ha I can't, my graphics card can't handle things loading in and a gunfight at the same time. It always shits the bed.
Wow. That was fun. Wasn't that fun? We were in that raid for like three minutes. Tremendous. Feel so accomplished. Yeah, it's bad all the time. Not great at all. It is very bad all of the time. I need to take off a server. I die every time I get put on that California server or that West Coast server. West, the West Coast North America server is, uh, I die every time I'm on it just because the server is so bad for me. The ping spikes just make it such a shitty time. Ads, I'll get ready for the next raid. Need ears. All right. We're getting a little poor. We'll uh, 
test these new servers with the sky. You love how the scavs always get Pearl War surplus weapons here. These World War II surplus weapons can fuck some shit up. You get a fucking front sight. I guess having a rear sight is better than only having a front sight. Did you see a TMC? No.
Зачем, блядь, да, да чё? Всё, нормально. As if they just happened to find a seven millimeter of Mosin lying around in the street. Um, we are in Russia. This is Russia. Um, so when the Russians left Iraq, Afghanistan area, Middle East, bro, they left entire camps up. They left fucking aircraft. They left. They left jeeps. They left tanks. They left. Guns, they left ammunition. They literally hopped on airplanes and flew away. They left everything. That happened. It is not shocking to me that they made a game where you can find guns just lying in the middle of the street because I'm sure there are places where at some time you could find guns lying in the middle of the street they didn't leave Afghanistan they were, yes but when they left they left everything I mean, they did leave. Even, even though they were betrayed, they did leave. They left. And they didn't take anything with them when they left. They had a choice as to whether or not to leave. I mean, oh, millions of dollars worth of weapons in a foreign hostile country. Hostile foreign country. And that's just, it's just reckless. It's reckless to leave all of that stuff. Ну чё, шкура цела уже неплохо, Did that too. Remember that base we abandoned two years ago? We or whatever, right? Oh, man. Uh, in the past five years, I think I've watched the news a total of maybe ten times. It's just so. <laughs> guys come get it you dumb bitch oh he just kind of he didn't even have to aim wish I didn't have to aim don't you don't you wish that you could run run around and head eyes people like that god damn I would never die He didn't flick the fuck out of me. He just aimed at the big ass green box on his screen. And 
in full auto. I'm not looking forward to this. Um, uh, yeah, that happened. Alright, maybe this time we won't run into a squad of bots gatekeeping the front of the mall with 15 minutes left in the raid. They would already been there for 30 minutes. Killing thing. making this hate going in this fucking mall should have never done it even on a scav does that Thirty minutes killing AI as a team. I guess you gotta level up the accounts you sell somehow. I'm gonna run up here and get pinched, but I just wanna kill Scabs, bro. That's all I need. Need to do. All I want to do.
Please go away. Didn't want to come in here. Didn't wanna. They forced it upon me. Yeah. I'm gonna hang out right here for a little bit. All these people kill each other. Someone walks in here and shoots me in the fucking head. I swear to God. I'll be so upset. But I feel like it might happen. Back. Excuse me? Oh. You must have bought your cheats from the Chinese because they suck dick, bro. You're not much better ratting in here, dog.
running from a guy that's shooting me through walls. I'm running to a guy that's hiding in a corner. Such a dog shit map, bro. Literally, it's never been a good map. Since I've played the game, it's not been a good map. Just bad. Bad all the time. Bro, I've been I've been trying to kill scabs for hours now. I've I've only killed like ten. Because I keep dying to players. In the sus way possible. I love getting shot through walls, bro. Zero visibility. He didn't see me. He didn't, he didn't know where I was. He had no idea where I was. And if he did, that's a whole nother problem. Fucking annoying getting shot through walls, dude. So fucking annoying. Like, oh, this isn't suspicious at all. They'll never know. Just don't give a fuck. Didn't care less. How many more scabs do I need? Like 30. 28. I think it's 28. Yeah, yeah, they 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 can definitely be NPC scabs. But I keep running into into people. But they have to be on this map is the shit part. Bunch of 
creatures that play this map. I assume you have to do it as a PMC. Yeah, you lose rep uh, for killing scavs as a scav. You lose rep with fence. And if you, uh, if you're over six rep with fence and you kill a scav, um, you lose all of the rep over six plus 0.1. So it puts you down to like six or 5.9. Which is a minimum of 10 scav raids, or it might put you down at 6.8. No, um, it's like 10 scav raids to get back to max rep with, with him if you only kill one scav. It's 10, 10 successful extracts on a scav to get full rep back if you kill one scav on your, um, your scav. Gross. Yeah, so if you are if you are 7.5 or if you are just let's say you haven't killed a scab the entire fucking wipe and you've just been running scabs back to back to back. Say you have 10 rep. You will lose everything down to 5.9 if you kill one scab that is not um, that has not already shot you or um, killed another scav in that raid. So you would lose like what? You would lose four point whatever. Rep. With fence. So it's really, really brutal if you're, I guess. I mean, not really. It's not brutal. It's really not. I mean, just 10 scav raids. 10 successful scav raids is not, not bad. Um... If you, because anything over six is just extra rep. Like it's not doing anything. You're not getting any better deals or anything like that because you're, you're at fucking eight versus six. Um, I mean, So if you're maxed out on rep and you kill another scab, it'll take all your rep. No, it doesn't take all of your rep. It takes it takes all of the rep over six plus another point one. So it puts you down to five point nine. So no matter what your rep is, if you're over six and you kill a scav, you get put down to 5.9. If your rep is 6.01, you get put down to 5.9. If your rep is, is eight, you get put down to 5.9. But you need six to not be hostile to NPC scavs. No, 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 no. So NPC scavs are always going to be hostile to your player. To your PMC. Um, so what happens is whenever you get six 
or higher um, rep with fence, um, your scav no longer gets aggroed by bosses. Um, and you get a discount, a greater discount for car extracts. Um, but the biggest thing is like, you can run around on a map with the bosses on your scav. Um, if your rep is over six. It's like if you, if I run factory scabs a lot, right? <clears throat> if I'm under six and I see Tagilla, I have to run away from him. But if you're over six, you can run around with him and pick up the the gear and stuff off of the PMCs he kills, off of the scavs that he kills. Just follow him about. And if somebody else wants to kill him um, and they shoot him, you can kill them and gain extra rep. Or you can wait until they kill him and then kill him and gain even more extra rep. Um, plus you get what's on Tagilla and on that scab. So there are some things that are good about it. So this is one of the best stash run maps, but it's not great to go inside. I don't like that. It's cool that you can gang up with the scab bosses. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So like people with negative scab rep, if they just start killing things and their their rep goes sub sub zero, starts going negative, it turns red. Um it doesn't matter if they shoot a scav or whatever. Every time they go into a raid as a scav, they get aggroed by other scavs. If you have negative rep, you automatically get shot at by scavs whenever you spawn in on your scav. That's the way, or that's the way it's supposed to work. Sort of like if you... Sort of like if you kill an AI scav that was good, or if you kill any good scav, AI start to aggro you really heavily. Kind of like that. But all the time. Big incentive to be a good scab. You you would think so. You would think so. You would think so. Right. You would you would be wrong. You you would be wrong if you thought that people adhered to that just because but Uh, you also have to have 2.0 or higher fence rep to unlock Lightkeeper, which is an in-raid trader that is going to be added to the game. Uh, quite tedious quest line to unlock him. Um, because not only do you, there's a list of of quests that have to be completed before you can unlock network provider and network provider is just the very beginning of the quest line that is required to unlock Lightkeeper as a trader so it's it's quite difficult to unlock him um but 2.0 scav rep is is a requirement as well it's on that list
so you lose access to network provider if you don't um have high enough for it If you think about it like this, 2.0 rep is equivalent to 200 successful extracts on a scav without, without any additional bonuses, without doing um, vehicle extracts, which give you a um, fence rep bonus. Um, it takes 200 successful scav extracts, like in theory. That's saying you don't kill an enemy scav that tried to kill you first. You don't kill any PMCs. Um, you don't take any vehicle extracts on your PMC. Um, you don't. Uh, so things like that um, help boost it pretty quickly. Um But yeah, if you were not to do anything other than survive on your scav, it would take 200 raids. 200 su successful extracts. God damn. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it doesn't it go 2.0 comes way faster than 6. Really not that bad, especially if you end up killing any PMCs or stuff like that. You get a helping scabs bonus. It's like it's pretty high. Um I think it's like 0.1 per um, enemy scav that you kill, or bad scav that you kill. So when the game wipes, you lose everything, including that stuff. Yeah, you even lose your stats. Like you lose, you lose all of these stats except for this one. You start at the wipe with point oh yeah if you have a standard account you start with zero if you have an eod account you start with uh point two rep on all traders Um, so standard accounts start with uh, 0 0.2 or 0 on all of their traders. 0 rep on all of their traders. Um, EOD accounts start with 0 0.2 rep on all of their traders, which is significant leap. It's a significant head start. There are several tasks that I don't have to do that other people have to do if they have standard accounts. So like if you if you do intend to play the game like i would i would suggest buying a standard account if you are interested in the game and then you for now you can upgrade now you can upgrade to eod from a standard account if you enjoy the game and 6.0 is where you want to be with the fence right i mean ideally yeah ideally yes you get in my opinion, it feels like you get better items on your scav. You get more rare items on your scav. Um, I get labs cards more often than I do when I don't have six rep. You own the EOD, you just never play the game. Okay. Well, you start with you start with point two. You start with point two rep with all traders. Outside of fence. I think fence is zero. But 
but yeah 6.0 is definitely where you want to be just because if a boss is on the map they don't try and kill you and you can go and clean up what the boss kills or you can go and help kill things with the boss um, sometimes if you just hang out with Tagilla and Factory, he will kill, he will kill, um, friendly players, guys, just because their rep is less than six. Um, he'll just run them down and start hitting them with a fucking hammer. And then you just rifle through their pockets and pick up their lap cards because they were it. 5.9 <laughs> and to go just beat the hell out of him with a hammer that's terrifying yeah it's pretty terrifying as far as i know to is the only one that like outside of cultists cultists have knives they'll stab you um and their their blades have poison on them it requires antidote. Yeah, Tagil is fairly terrifying um, at first. When you first meet him. For sure. Bronze line, man. Goddamn lines, man. I need a bag, son. The normal NPC scabs never aggro player scav, or is it the same deal if the rep is under six? NPC scabs don't aggro a player scav. Unless that player scav has killed a friendly scav in that raid. I don't know what they're saying. Yeah, so like if an AI scav is steady screaming at a guy and like he's talking to you like i don't know what's wrong with this guy i don't know why he's so angry it's because he's already killed a scav in that raid he's he's killed a friendly scav in that raid and he's probably gonna dome you probably gonna shoot you in the head <laughs> if you turn around or you try to loot anything um, they'll, they'll clap you. And like, sometimes you know it's going to happen and it's still kind of upsetting. Like, there's some things that you just know they're going to happen, but it's still upsetting. Remember, I found it. Someone's being a bad scab. Are you in the clear to kill them? Or do they have to shoot you first? So, if they have already been a bad scav in that raid, so if uh, AI are already aggroing them, um, you have the right to kill them. I'm not sure how it works if they have negative rep if you can kill them regardless if they've shot anything um i don't know how that works but usually if an ai scav is shooting at someone you it gives you the right to shoot at them as well but you have to be careful because um if you if a player 
that wasn't there at the beginning of the interaction sees you kill another scav, sometimes they take it upon themselves to kill you anyway. Just, just because. I don't remember what yellow is for. Oh, it's for a quest in it. Well, fuck your quests. How's about that? Um, but yeah. What? It's usually fairly up. It's fairly apparent when someone's being a bad scab. Sometimes it's not though. Sometimes they'll trick you and then you die. It's just like, wow. This guy was really role playing. He took that lie to his grave or to your grave. And some people go through extraordinary means to look just like a scav. I've done it. And NPC scavs or bosses throw grenades. Yes, they can, but they don't. Usually. They do like to scream grenade. All the time. Even if they're not throwing grenades though. They do that. <laughs> that, that is an actual thing. They will scream grenade. And never throw a grenade. But yeah, usually if a grenade is thrown, it's by a uh, PMC. Especially if you hear the grenade get prepped and you don't hear it being thrown immediately, it's not gonna be AI. You've seen so many streams where people dress up as scabs. Yeah, it's... So there, there are a couple of quest lines that require you to wear certain gear that do make you appear like a scav, but some people run like that all the time and they won't use their um, in-game comms because th they're literally pretend to be scav. It's, I mean, good on you, bud definitely a survival tactic streak bonus Woo. I mean, just like extract camping, it is a strategy. It is a strategy. Doesn't mean it's a good strategy or it's a healthy strategy for the, I don't know. I guess it does slow down gameplay in a sense, but only at certain parts of the map, just kind of shit. All right. We'll come back tomorrow and try to complete this since we didn't start it until like an hour or two into stream. It's fine. There a negative effect to killing scavs as a PMC or no? No, there's no negative effect. Killing scavs as a PMC. Um, unless there's a quest that says don't kill scabs while the quest is active. There are some quests that require that you don't kill scabs while the quest is active. 
Um, I don't have any. So there, there are a couple of quests that you will fail them if you, um, you'll fail them if you kill MCs. Oh, I'm poor. Um, right. I guess we are doing this eliminate PMCs inside of the ultra shopping mall. I don't like doing that. I don't like going in there. I think it's gross. It's so dark everywhere. I wish there were more solos in Tarkov, but there, there are not as many solos as uh, squads. I need... Um, Kalok, because I'll forget that in the morning. Um, proper... By the condors. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of stream for today. Come back tomorrow and... Solo only would be cool to see. Yeah, there are a lot of people that are completely against that idea, though, because they say it takes away from the realism um which i mean that's and that is that is one way to look at it i guess um yeah i mean it was fun thanks for answering all my questions i was glad to I was glad to answer your questions but um i stream every day i go live generally between 8 to 10 a.m eastern standard time yeah I'll be back tomorrow morning. Hope you have a good afternoon, bud. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it.